Hello, dear students of the IBSC, welcome for today's lecture. Today uh, we will um, discuss about cell and molecular biology, lecture number 6 on cell organelles and their function. We are continuing it. Uh, till now we have seen plasma membrane and it's a bilayer model. So, Daniel Lidiosini model. So, they have shown that there is the lipid and protein. So, two layers are there and therefore we call it as a bilayer model of uh, lipid uh, and protein. So these two layers forming the plasma membrane and their functions we have seen how they protect, how they regulate the physiology and all the things. Now next today we will see second model fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane. In previous we have seen Daniel Lidelson model and bi sandwich bilayer model. Now, this fluid mosaic model have been reported by S.J. Singer and G.L. Nicholson in 1972 and they proposed and widely accepted the fluid mosaic model of biological membranes. So, the fluid mosaic model means uh, it looks like a fluid actually uh, and according to this model um, we will see in the next figure or also we have seen in previous figure uh, this one is 2.4 and in the next 2.5 so I will show you that figure later on but till then we will see and the plasma membrane contains a bio biomolecular lipid layer means they also again two layers are here biomolecular lipid layer and both surfaces of which are interrupted by protein molecules means protein and lipid bilayer is definitely there but outer surface is interrupted by protein molecules and proteins occur in the form of globular molecules and they are dotted about there and there in mosaic pattern dotted about here and there in a mosaic pattern and some proteins are attached at the polar surface of the lipid layer or we can say lipid molecules that is extrinsic or peripheral proteins while other at the non-polar surface that is integral proteins either partially penetrate the bilayer model or span the membrane entirely to stick out on both sides. So transmembrane proteins further the peripheral proteins and those parts of the integral proteins that stick on the outer surface frequently contains chain of sugar or glycoproteins and likewise some lipids of outer surface are glycolipids. The fluid mosaic model is found to be applied to all biological membranes in general and it is seen as a dynamic ever changing structure. The proteins are present not to give its strength but to serve as enzymes catalyzing chemical reactions within the membrane and as pumps moving thing across it means that membrane is allowing to move the molecules or the chemical materials across the membrane and lipid and protein these are the two bilayer models and they are frequently contain some sugars like the lycoprotein for the energy rich material so they require because we have seen action potential and in nervous system and we have seen the active potential or active transport so active transport requires energy and passive transport may be directly like diffusion so these are the two different things in membrane so next one is the functions of this plasma membrane we have seen what is plasma membrane what is bilayer model what is Daniel Lidiosin model then what is fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic model is like a uh, protein and lipids fluid like and not clear so therefore the word is mosaic layer so they are complexly arranged with each other and partly embedded in the layer now as the barrier between the internal environment of a cell and the external medium the plasma membrane plays a number of important role that allows a cell to function properly by acting as a boundary that separates the cytoplasm as well as nucleus from the extracellular environment the plasma membrane helps to regulate 
substances that enter or leave the cell. Through characteristics of phospholipid bilayer, which in turn provides ideal cellular conditions for the cell to function normally, and some of the other functions of the plasma membrane may be classified as follows. So one of them is the transport because that membrane allows to pass or transport the material from one side to another side. So transport is one of the main function of the plasma membrane while some substances are allowed into the cell and some are prevented from gaining entrance and therefore the plasma membrane is selectively permeable and thus does not allow all substances in and out of the cell. So all material is not allowed so some selective material is allowed to transport through the membrane and therefore we can call it as a selectively permeable membrane uh, while it protects the cell from the harmful substances and that are denied entry means plasma membrane is not allowing all materials but the substances which are harmful or which may cause any harm or which may cause disturbances in the regulation of physiology are denied or prevented to enter in the cell and this action also helps to maintain a balance between various material for cell functions means the physiology of cell to perform various functions is maintained by the mechanism of transport by plasma membrane so this is the utmost and important function of the plasma membrane next one is there are two types of transport as i previously told you that active transport and passive transport two types of transport mechanisms that occurs to the plasma membrane so in passive transport that this is the simple way of transportation mechanism in which it does not require the use of energy it means it simply passes the molecules from one side to another side but in active transport second type of transport the material passes through the use of energy here there is not required use of energy here is the use of energy definitely called active transport it requires energy like atp adenosine triphosphate molecules are utilized for the transport of materials through the membrane this is called as active transport you see here through through the use of energy given and that substances have to be transported against concentration gradient. Against means they fight the concentration gradient, they struggle therein, and therefore they require energy. Ekada molecule la ya membrane ya alikadun polikadi ya ya sel, ane rasta koni na sel, tar to molecule sahat tikar jalae to. Kya samjha apne le ya dara jun tya dara ya ya sel ane madhe ek doni manushas ti tapas sahat ni hujato. But the larger car, Yadaratun Tadara Jatana, the Shambologan Dunjaja said, Tar Tala just energy like it, and the round is active transport. This is the simple example of transport of the material. Second is the injection. Injection in Jatala, Kongani, Gungani. Because of the nature of plasma membrane, different types of cells are able to ingest a variety of substances into the cell. Pishin Madle Kahi. घातक नपोषलेला आवश्यक नसलेला त्रासदायक असलेला किंवा मॅच होत नसलेल्या मटेरियलला डायरेक्ट खाऊन घेतो प्लाझ्मा मेंब्रेनच्या पेशी आणि त्याला म्हणजे इंजेक्शन दिस इज अचीव्ड थ्रू सच प्रोसेसेस एज एंडोसायटोसिस पेशीच्या मध्ये खाऊन जळून घेणे एंडोसायटोसिस फॅगोसायटोसिस आणि पिनोसायटोसिस आता याच्या दोघांमध्ये सॉलिड मटेरियल असतं ज्याला ते गळून घेतात इथे लिक्विड मटेरियल असतं म्हणून त्याला पिनोसायटोसिस म्हणायचं म्हणजे पेशी एखाद्या पदार्थाला खाऊन घेते तर ती त्यांना तीन गोष्टी आहेत एंडोसायटोसिस आतल्या वजेनं खाऊन घेणे फॅगोसायटोसिस डाळी गिळून घेणे आणि पिनोसायटोसिस ते लिक्विड असेल तर त्याला गिळून घेणे किंवा खाऊन घेणे सो दीज आर द थ्री वेज बाय विच द इंजेक्शन इज अचीव्ह बाय द सेल सो दिस इज अचीव्ह थ्रू सच प्रोसेसेस ॲज दिस थ्री अँड पिनोसायटोसिस फॉर द लिक्विड अँड ड्युरिंग दॅट द फूड पार्टिकल्स आर इंजेस्टेड लाईक माइक्रो ऑर्गनिजम और फूड पार्टिकल और एनीथिंग व्हाट एवर इज अ नीडेड फॉर द और व्हाट एवर इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड देयर टू फॉर द सेल दीज प्रोसेस अलाउज सेल्स टू फीड और डिस्ट्रॉय अदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और द सब्सटेंसेस मींस इंजेक्शन इज माय आइदर 
ऑर्गेनिजम्स और सब्सटेंसेस नेक्स्ट इज सेल डिविजन प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन्स नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज सेल डिविजन इट टेक पार्ट इन डिविजन ऑफ टू सेल्स एंड कंप्लीटली एनोल दिस बोथ सेल्स दिस इज द फंक्शन एज मैं प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज अ डायनेमिक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज ऑलवेज इन मोशन दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक मेक्स इट इजी फॉर अ सेल टू डिवाइड वेन नीड to be to form two daughter cells from the original cell and here the plasma membrane pinches at the central part of this at the central part and separates to form two new cells pinches means they come collapse or close to each other and breaks down and these both points are again rejoined and forming the two cells example in mitosis or meiosis we can see it then another important function of plasma membrane is communication plasma membrane communicates cell to cell or nucleus to cell or nucleus to surface like with this so through the structures on their surface means protein and carbohydrates cells are able to communicate with each other and interact through signaling cell signaling is being there and this is facilitated by the communication mechanism either by the protein molecules or by the carbohydrate molecules which are present on the cell surface so this is the another important function of the plasma membrane now next one is the ultra structure of nucleus we have seen about cytoplasm we are observing here the cell and molecular biology of that we are observing the roles of molecules and we have already seen the cytoplasm and its central material but in cytoplasm inside the cell in cytoplasm there is a central nucleus and that nucleus is also have a important function nucleus have its envelope because it is a eukaryotic cell nucleus has dna rna and other materials which are needed for the development so the nucleus is composed of following structures simply the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane or called as karyotheca which envelopes or which covers the whole nucleoplasm second the nuclear sac which is inside the nuclear membrane or we can get nucleoplasm third one is the chromatin fibers that is dna and rna and in nucleus there is a small nucleolus nucleolus means we can say nucleus of nucleus that is nucleolus simply for the uh, simple understanding so this we will see one by one all these so first is the nuclear envelope or we can call it as a nuclear membrane or karyotheca so it forms an envelope like structure around the nuclear contents and therefore commonly called as nuclear envelope it separates the nucleoplasm from cytoplasm of the cell or we can say it divides the nucleoplasm and cytoplasm the electron microscopic structure of nuclear envelope the electron microscopic structure of nuclear envelope has shown that it is composed of two unit membranes an outer membrane and inner membrane each membrane is about 75 to 90 degree angstrom thick and lipoproteins in nature means lipid and protein are combined there lipoproteins in nature the outer and inner nuclear membrane remains separated by space of 100 to 150 degree angstrom the outer and inner nuclear membrane are separated by about 100 to 150 degree angstrom but distance or space this intermembrane space is known as perinuclear space the outer nuclear membrane remains rough whereas uh, rough due to attached ribosomes sometimes it remains continuous with the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and therefore it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum or we can say it contains with golgi complex and mitochondria also maybe this inner nuclear membrane remains associated with the chromatin material means inner nuclear material co communicates directly to the 
chromatin material and outer is to the other complex matrix. Further, the nuclear membrane is followed by a supporting proteinous membrane which is formed of a uniform thickness known as inner lamina or fibrous lamina which is about 300 AO in thickness. So this is the capacity or we can say up to this level how the membrane is thick. Actually it should be degree and strong or uh, AO we can say actually it should be degree angstrom this one is the unit AO okay, actually actually degree angstrom we can call it as a general way degree angstrom okay whatever it may be uh, after this thickness we will continue uh, the functions of the nucleus and nuclear materials so this nuclear membrane has so many small pores and these are allowing to move in and out the RNA materials to communicate for the synthesis of protein. Nucleus la anek chidra stat, pratek chidra madhun, a ya karna sati, avagaman karna sati, cytoplasm madhun, nucleus madhun, nucleus madhun, cytoplasm madhun, mahiti pochone, sandesh pochone, he kam karna sati, nuclear pores astat. There is an MRA by Harjato nucleus karna ka mahiti kinato. And by protein the molecule tiger to protein synthesis karto. So these nuclear pores are the transporting mechanism for communicating the material from cytoplasm to the material from nucleus. The nuclear membranes are not continuous, but at several places they are broken by a nuclear openings or pores. The number of the pores for a particular nucleus is variable and often depends on the species and the type of the cell. The nuclear pores are octagonal in shape and have diameter of about 600 degree angstrom. A0 or AO or whatever the uh, symbol but it is called as degree angstrom. These are enclosed by a circular structure known as annuli. These are the circular structures generally called as annuli. The pores and annuli are collectively known to form the pore complex and therefore it becomes a porous membrane allows to pass the materials across the membrane. The pore complex remains arranged hexagonally on the surface of the nuclear envelope. The annually have an outer diameter of about 1200 degree angstrom or we can say 1200 degree angstrom and an inner diameter between 0 to 400 degree angstrom. So this is the range, this is the complex arrangement, this is the structure and all about the nuclear pores which allows to move in and out the material which is needed or required by the nucleus and cell. Second is nucleoplasm. This is about nuclear membrane. Now second is nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm is the material which is encircled in the nuclear membrane or which is encircled outside by nucleoplasm uh, sorry nuclear membrane nucleoplasm is covered by nuclear membrane the space between the nuclear envelope and nucleolus is filled by a transparent semi-solid granular and slightly acidic substance called as nuclear sap or nucleoplasm and the nuclear components like chromatin threads and the nucleolus remains suspended in the nucleoplasm. So chromatin materials are naturally suspended in the nucleoplasm, they found in the nucleoplasm and it has complex chemical composition mainly composed of nucleoprotein material like DNA and RNA as well as 
organic and inorganic matters like nucleic acids, proteins, enzymes and minerals. So these materials what they do what actually they are actually was in here proteins enzymes, and so on. So nucleic acids includes DNA and RNA, deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acids. So the most common nucleic acids are these two DNA and RNA. Both may occur in macromolecular state means in large structure or in the form of their mono monomer nucleotide monomer is single or monomer nucleotide second are the proteins the nucleoplasm contains mainly two types of proteins that is acidic or non histone proteins Generally, acidic proteins are non-histone and basic proteins are histone proteins.